All right, here we go, right where we left off. Sweet. Good okay, start. good. All right, see you next week. Um, yeah. All right. That was a good episode. Deaths for the graph, death. Only one game over so far, though. Two. Two game overs? Two game overs. What? You can just walk over the gaps? <laughs> what does it mean? Christian, can I ask you a question? Sure. You can answer completely truthfully. Well, you just asked me a question. Can I ask you two more questions? Yes. Okay. Do you think this is a good game? <laughs> I think it's alright. I think it's something that got perfected later on. But yeah. I think it's definitely pretty good for <clears throat> what it started. I gotta tell you, this makes me really want to go back and play it. Oh, really? Yeah. Why is that? Not because I'm like, I could, I could do this better. I could... I, I, I you probably could. could. One life. Being honest. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> Seeing how bad this warthog's treating me because you can just yeah. defy all gravity. Like Cloud's yeah. hair. I don't believe that you can kill them either. Really? You can't kill him? No. Is that why I'm having so much trouble with this freaking <laughs> thing? I think so. I think there's just an obstacle okay. that exists. Yeah, I, I guess. That blows. I'll have to ham at them. Nice. You'll have to witness Ham and egg it. Alright. Did you know there was a level in this game that was too hard, so they had to take it out? <laughs> oh, really? Yep. Wow. I guess um, that but definitely if you have the, says something. Yeah, if you have the Game Shark code, you can play, play that it. level. Yeah. Whoa, screw that. Ah, okay, we're good. <laughs> I imagine speedrunning this game must be like the most nerve-wracking experience. Oh my god! Uh, ah! ah that was <laughs> close. I kind of respect this game for being so... Hard? Yeah. What it's like mean? no one told them, hey, oh, yeah. people are going to try to have fun with this game, so maybe <laughs> don't make it. Don't make it too hard. Because... I don't know if we talked about it, the Naughty Dog that made this game... It's not the Naughty Dog we made, we know today. Yeah. That is true. This was kind of their first major... ...game. Yeah. Well, that's not true. It's their... First I just mean this was like their first console. really successful... Yeah, yeah, first successful game. That received any critical acclaim at all, pretty much. Well, yeah, because they were like doing 3DO stuff, and yeah. that's not... <laughs> Who knows what the 3DO the is bucks. anymore? I barely know what it is. No kidding. Lots of full motion video, I think. Oh, that's so stiff. The acceleration on <laughs> Crash is like so yeah. stiff. Because it's all digi or digital, yeah, right? Yeah, it There's is no... all digital. That's crazy. Is there any like air control? There is like a little, but it's like really. It's like. There's like. It's slow, like if you jump, you're fast. gonna jump. It's like <laughs> yeah. really. I don't know how to explain it. Like tactile. Sure. But um, yeah, it does not feel good. Cause like Spyro, I believe came out like two years after this, and you can tell that they. Had... Oh really? The first Spyro did? I believe so, and I think Spyro is a much more. It came out when I think they had figured out what 3D meant for a platformer. Yeah. I see what you mean by that. Definitely. Yeah. So this is just it's like interesting, yeah. Freaking hard NES crap. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Cause like, I say that, but all the Crash games are kind of like this. Yeah, they are. They never really opened up. I think they had wanted to. Um, I there's just an image that floats around of an interview with one of the creators of Crash, where they asked him if things hadn't gone like they did, how would you have wanted the series to go? Yeah. And they were gonna um, kind of redo the first game, but with an open world kind of really? thing. Like That's return to this aesthetic, but um, <laughs> kind of free it from, <laughs> dude, I believe in you. Oh man, I hate those jumps where you have to be like <laughs> right on the edge. I hate those. Oh, I'm screwed now. Oh, I wow. see why they put that turtle shell down, huh? Yeah. An open yeah, world is... type thing, huh? Yeah, which is... 
Um, I haven't played them, but I believe that's what the later Crash games were. Is that true? Um, what do you mean by later Crash games? Like, um, what is it? Uh, Twin Sanity? Yeah, I feel like that one had, like, the more of the open world feel. I really don't know anything like about big, anything. a bigger op opener area. Did you beat it? Yay! Nice job. Yeah, I only died a few times. <laughs> and it's only World 2. could have gone worse. Yeah, I feel like they could have probably streamed this together somehow in an open world. Because they got the whole world map thingy. Yep. And then they oh, changed. Okay. It was. It started in Crash 2 where they had the little hub area, right? Yeah, I really like the little hub. Yeah. It's like, became a Crash <coughs> staple after that. Yeah. Instead of this linear Super Mario Bros. crap. Dude, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I like world maps a lot. I think they're cool. Especially yeah, uh, Super cool. Mario World. Yeah. Because you could see it like change as you did like the different routes. And yeah, everything. that was really cool. Shovel Knight used that. Also, oh, have you played Shovel Knight, Tucker? I haven't. I really no? want to. Oh, that would be a I'm amazing only heard good let's things. play. Yeah. That would be an amazing one to do well, next. Well, since Michael's out of commission for the next two weeks. I don't know how I died there, but Did you yeah. just die at the very yeah. end? looks like I did. Oh. I died inside the tunnel. I got flattened inside the tunnel. <laughs> because video on. games. Because yeah. Crash Bandicoot. Because yeah. difficulty. Yeah. I like how this boulder level is like basically a carbon copy of the last one. Just a different layout. Hard. I mean, they use like, like it's not even a different area looking. It doesn't oh. look like it. <laughs> okay. Oh. There's another one. I guess I didn't push the jump button. Alright, it happens. Have you played any NES games, Tucker? Yeah. Have you played your I, fair share? That was before my time, so. Yeah. Um. Like, I've played a lot of, like, Genesis games, because that was kind of the first console okay, yeah. I was around for. Mm -hmm. um, and then, I can't say I've played a lot of NES Like games. Sanic? Did you play Sanic? Oh, I played some Sanic in my time. Did ya? Dynamite Heady. I've never played that. Vector Man. Dynamite Vector Heady's Man. crazy. Is it? Like, what is it? Yeah, I... Like, 2D uh, side-scroller thingy? Platformer? Um... I don't really know what to compare it to. Okay. The character design is kind of Rayman-y, but it's um, very Japanese and very... I don't even know if it was Japanese, but it's got kind of that, like... There's giant robots fighting in the background. <laughs> That's awesome. It's a really cool game. Is that, that where you your don't... love for Jap all things Japanese came from, Tucker? <laughs> I don't know where that came from. No? I think owning a PlayStation had something to do with it. Yeah, that probably helped. Dude, that was awesome. I did not hit the TNT. <laughs> it was pretty cool. I usually die those at those. What was your favorite Genesis game growing up? Gosh. I had terrible taste in video games. Did you? Yeah. That's <laughs> not a... Uh, I really liked, actually, um, there was that Sonic game, Sonic 3D Blast. Oh, yep. Where it was like an isometric... Like the Sonic 2 terrible. bonus levels? Yeah, that hurt your terrible, eyes. But I loved it as a kid. Did I thought you? it was the coolest. Yeah. The mode seven of Genesis. Yeah, it was really not a good idea. <laughs> not a good really. idea. When I was young, my parents like they I don't know how they got like picked out Genesis games to get, but I had a sure. Genesis growing up too, and yeah. um, I had like a Chester the Cheetah game, oh, which yeah. was really sure. awful. Did and you I ever couldn't... play... What's that? Sorry. What game? No, keep going. It was just really awful, and I couldn't get past, like, the first two levels, maybe. Right. That was basically the story <laughs> with most of the Genesis games that I had. Yeah. Including Sonic the Hedgehog. I could maybe get to, like, the fourth level, but then I'd die sure. right away. Right. Which game were you going to ask if I um, played, Tucker? There was a McDonald's game. Oh, no, I haven't like played this. it, but I have seen it played. Okay. I have, like, really uh... vivid memories of that game for really some did you have that game no i rented it oh um, you rented it so yep was it awesome tucker i don't know was it everything you wanted it to be i don't know <laughs> you don't know probably not <laughs> <laughs> i 
I don't know. I, it's been so long since I played all of those games that I don't have... I can't make any claims to quality on any of them. Okay. I just remember thinking video games were rad because I was like <laughs> yeah. five years old and it was like... <laughs> yeah. Well, I had a game for Genesis called uh, Subterranea. Have you ever okay. played that game? Have you ever even uh, like, heard uh, of it? I don't think it's, so. I think it's infamous for being like one of the most like one of the most difficult and kind of meh Great. Genesis games ever made. <laughs> yep. It is like just insane. Like it, it's like Lunar Lander, so you like control this oh, like God. spaceship. Okay. Sure. And it's like Lunar Lander, but you also have enemies that you have to shoot and kill and everything on top of that. And then you have like people that you have to rescue in order to like complete the mission and everything. And yeah, it was just insane. I could get Sounds... to like the third level as a kid, but sure. that was it. Yep. That that's yep. where it stopped and ended for me. Games were harder back then. Yeah. For sure. I feel like it was like around the PS1 era when things kind of started getting a lot more accessible. As far as difficulty goes, you think so, Tucker? Um, I think there are lines down which difficulty has maintained, like the Devil May Cry series and stuff like that, where I think <laughs> there's a lot, I think there are people in the industry who were around at that time who want to keep that oh. <laughs> oh my gosh that didn't happen the last times yeah oh, whatever. i feel like if you're making games now and you weren't making games then the difficulty isn't as much of a focus point okay and i feel like people who were around then who are still around making games i feel like they tend to make more difficult games it seems like okay yeah yeah, because back then um, they had the arcades, which, like, games for that were just right. meant to be right. quarter I don't think that's good. No? I don't... No. I mean, there's nothing really respectable about that. No, you don't think so? Um, I think a lot of the time it was really cheap. Yeah. Difficulty. That's true. And I don't think... I'm not just saying difficulty is good in Yay! and of itself. Yay! Dude, you're making progress. Yeah. I think that's a good spot to wrap up. Sure. Yeah, good discussion on good old Genesis childhood. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Vector Man was pretty sweet. It was. <laughs> he was like orbs, dude. Oh, dude, this is the level. This is the level, huh? This, this is, is the where level. stuff gets real, huh? This is where most people stop playing the game. Oh, no. I guess we'll leave that <laughs> for next time. I'll quit next time. <laughs>